A lot of times we get distracted with our plants in the summertime and start thinking about the birds come wintertime. We're going to look at how to clean those bird feeders and get them ready for our feathered friends. Now, hanging bird feeders, you should be cleaning these every other week in the summer months, but in case you haven't, we're going to do that now. And so what you want to do in order to do that is to go ahead and kind of disassemble any pieces that might be on it. We, of course, have our um, squirrel cage on this, and so we're going to take this apart. And it's in here with a little bit of a pin. So now that we've got our bird feeder disassembled a little bit, um, you can see that this is kind of rusting a bit and coming off on our hands. So we are going to paint this a little bit later, but first we want to make sure that we clean it thoroughly. In order to do this, we're going to need a, a solution of four parts of water to one part of vinegar. So we've got about eight of our measuring cup in here of water, and we're going to add two cups of vinegar to this mixture. Now that we've got our mixture made, we're going to use this mixture to really scrub and clean any of this. And this is just a bottle brush. You can find these at your local store um, and scrub off all of that old bird seed that might be on there, any bird droppings that might be on there. We just want to make sure that we get it all clean. And we are going to actually let this soak for a while. So if it's not coming off right away, after it soaks, it should be removed pretty easily. On this, we want to make sure to move our, remove our peg out of there so we can get our bottle brush in there. So we're going to remove that peg and then just sink this whole thing down in there. And again, using your bottle brush to scrub the outside of it pretty thoroughly especially around where the birds eat and also the posts that they roost on. Depending on which sort of bottle brush you get, sometimes they come with a little small one. And so those work well to get in and around those smaller spaces. So we've got most of the big stuff off. We're just going to let this soak for a little bit longer and then we'll come back to it and clean it up. In the meantime, we've got another feeder over here um, that doesn't need to go back out, but we need to get it prepared for storage for the winter time. You probably have some hummingbird feeders that have been out. All the hummingbirds have left our garden at this point um, and we won't need these back out until next spring. So hummingbird feeders, you really should be cleaning these every time you refill them with your sugar solution. Um, in case you haven't or you just need to clean it again before you store it, we're going to disassemble it as well. And for this, you can use your one part vinegar to four parts water solution again. Um, but we're going to use actually a bleach solution where we use one part bleach to nine parts water. And that's because we've got some mold that's starting to come into this at this point. So we want to make sure that it's nice and clean for winter time um, before we put it away. So we've completely taken it apart and we're going to soak this in uh, water and bleach. Now we have nine parts of water in here already. So we're going to add our one part bleach. And now that we have that in here, we're going to use this to clean off, see how moldy it is right there. So we're going to use this bleach solution and again our bottle brush to go ahead and clean that out. Now some people do use soap to clean their hummingbird feeders, but that's really not recommended um, because soap can leave a residue behind that is toxic to birds. And so if you do use soap, you only want to use a small amount of soap. We're going to use our bottle brush again to really get the inside of that clean because that's where that sugar has been and 
a lot of times it can turn uh, rancid and, and sour pretty quickly being out in the sun. We're going to let that again set in there for a while and go ahead and start cleaning some of the other pieces. You can see on this one the top has a lot of seed debris in there. So we want to just go ahead and get all of that out, kind of tap it on something. Again, this is where those little brushes or a toothbrush comes in handy to really clean that out. All right, so it's looking pretty good. Again, we'll just let that soak. So this is the reservoir that holds our nectar, and a lot of times this is what gets really gunky, and usually they will pop apart. We can take the top of ours off here. And look at that, you can see all of that, and ants in there, because of course ants like sugar. So we're just gonna dump this over to the side and set this in here. So again, you can let this soak for a little bit if you need to, um, but we've got ours pretty well cleaned off. So whenever you use bleach, um, it's ideal to go ahead and boil them, to rinse them afterwards, but you want to make sure and check your manufacturer's um, label as to whether you can do that with your bird feeder or not. If you can't, you just want to make sure to rinse it thoroughly, so that's what we're going to do with our stuff here. So we're just going to lay our stuff out here and wash it outside on the, with the garden hose. So now that we've got these rinsed off, we're just going to go ahead and lay these out and make sure that they dry thoroughly. And then we'll reassemble them and go ahead and put them up for winter storage. We want to then check back on our other hanging bird feeder here. And now that it's nice and soaked for a while, we're going to pull it out and rinse it off also. We're then going to let it dry for a while. We will spray paint it and freshen it up to go back out for winter. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.